Okay, thanks for thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the demonstration. Please give them big hand again. Third, trouble. The you probably noticed uh, one hazard in using a uh, trouble and fibre. The tendency of many peop many speakers talk to the bone, not to the audience. We'll see the bad example is that person who is who is writing who is writing and and go on giving a speech. Let's see a exam bad example. A friend in need is a friend indeed, Ray. And the, wor and the worst case is that person who is continues to, to, to talk the ball after he has completed the writing. Man is the participant of his own happiness, Thoreau. And next one is good example. A, a person who is who is who have finished the writing and turns again to audience and resume talking. Man is the participant of his own happiness, Thoreau. Finally, handouts. Handouts can relieve listeners from having to take notes, but they can, but they also easy to be distracted, especially if passed around during a speech. Therefore, don't do not pass around before you start speaking. And because they, they are, because they may see what's coming and not to focus on presentation, better to pass them out at the end of talk. I hope everyone can learn tips of using displays. Thank you. Thank you. Karen. Okay, thanks, Karen. She gives many examples, such as an, a live show. Although Ethan got some problems, yeah, I think she. Uh, I think I think he needs study more. Yeah, <laughs> and do you still remember the four main ideas? What Karen has mentioned, that is posters, flip charts, chalkboard, and the whiteboard, and the final handout. And then the fourth part, we invite Olga to introduce the projections um, uh, just uh, less than carefully and the clean your year because uh, clean your years because she prepared an uh, interesting PPT. Let's welcome Olga. Hello. Hello. June, eh? oh, there are three parts in this session. And there are <laughs> overhand transparencies, PowerPoint and films. And the first one is overhand transparencies. Parenthesis. And you can see the big and clear screen. And they are the, it's the overhand transparencies. And do you know how to use? Let me show you how to use. And oh. 
first, I don't know either. Oh, first you can plug the plug in, but the I line is that. so short. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why? Okay, we know. Oh, Maybe we so. should. And take next is take out take the apply it pliers out like this. Then you can choose some picture or paper to this deeper surface. And you can see the your content to in the screen. Mm. Like this. Thank you, okay. the show girl. Thank you. <laughs> My paper! <laughs> My presentation. Bye. Okay. Second is the PowerPoint. Um, this, this part I introduced two of them. The, eh, the first one is the color. You can see a red band, no color, right? Mm. First, I I color I choose the pink color. The its face. Pink or its face. Oh. Like this. Then mm. I choose. Eh, then I choose the green to color its body. Okay. It's uh, strange, <laughs> right? So. Choosing, choosing color is a important thing. I introduce <laughs> I introduce the best <laughs> or the worst example for you. Like this. The best one is black and white. Like this. And the worst one is <laughs> red and blue. It's hurt our eyes. Yes. And so don't use the deep color to show Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is the format. The format is also important because the person who sit back can see your can see your PPT. If you are you are your PPT is not clearly. The title is using ads. So what is the size? Oh. Oh. Forty-four. Yes. Then the sub then the subtitle is thirty two. Good. Thirty two? The title? Thirty two? And the test is twenty eight. 